today we are going to tour to London. We can do it. My dad is coming to watch me and it's the first time he's seen me dance since I became professional. So I woke up nice and early on Tuesday morning to get my nutritious breakfast in. As always, did my quiet time in the morning, really just trying to connect with God before I start my day. And I did my classic stretches that I always do on every work day. Finished off packing because I hadn't quite finished that yet. And I also did a 30 minute full body Pilates workout from Maria Horova's channel. I definitely recommend it. Hey everyone, if you're new around here, my name is Hannah Martin. I am a ballet dancer with Birmingham Royal Ballet. Today we are going to tour to London, Salas Wells, with our production of Don Quixote. I'm very excited. We don't have class this morning, we have class when we get to the theatre this evening. So I wanted just to work out a little bit and just get my body moving. Hence the workout this morning. And then I wanted to get to work early to go on the bike before the coach leaves for London. But it seems I may be running a bit too late for that, we're gonna see. Everything actually fit in my bag today, which makes me concerned that I'm missing something. But I can always buy it there if I need to. Hopefully I'm not missing anything. For me there you don't know what you want For this whole time you were stringing me on Now I'm crying I'm trying to hold down just getting ready because we have class on stage in about an hour so we're just kind of getting our stuff unpacked all the essentials the peanut butter the vitamins hot chocolate peanut butter as well is that peanut it's almond <sighs> butter oh we we'll have to try that see matilda has all the best snacks i'm just saying her homemade for roche it's just like next level next level everyone said it in the change rooms yesterday off to the theater we go I'm focused I've been watching for the omens I've been listening to everything you said it's been so we had our first class at Sadler's Wells <laughs> express class it was only an hour now we're heading back to the hotel to eat something before as of tonight which is going to go on till 10 p.m yay late nights we love late nights super excited for the performances they're going to be really special here in London. If any of you guys came to watch any of the shows, then please comment down below. How did you find it? I feel like I'm making my friends uncomfortable now. I can sense it. And we're ready for rehearsal. Oh my god, I'm so excited. 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 Oh my god, to go. Oh. <laughs> hour to go. It's 
So it is 10 30 now. We just got some milk for the hot choco. Can't even form milk words, I'm so tired. Heading back to the hotel. And I was thrown into a new spot that I hadn't done in a while. I didn't think I was gonna do it this time round. Could have been better. Keep moving forwards. Another stage four of it tomorrow, so I'm gonna work on it and make sure that I nail it tomorrow. How are we doing guys? Good. Let's go get some rest. So coming back on this first night, it was such a pretty sky and I was really enjoying the hotel. The shower was lovely and yes, I kind of found like a random pin in my hair. Guys, comment down below if you can relate. Oh my goodness, look how much ice that they gave us. Are you happy for me to take this one or Here we go. And Tuesday dawned, it was opening night. We had a full stage call before we had the evening performance. And here's a few clips of breakfast. These apples actually looked amazing. And actually I had one and they were really nice. Not as good as my pink lady though. I did my stretches before getting ready for work. Good morning everybody. It is day two of London adventure at Sadler's Wells. Yes, it was a really late night so I didn't vlog that much, but we had a good rehearsal. We have class now at 11. Mathilde gave me a Mel melatonin. melatonin. Yeah. melatonin tablet last night and oh my goodness i slept till 7 45 7 45 i cannot tell you the last time i slept in that long probably are gonna laugh at me but like i just don't sleep in you guys know me by now i feel great i've had a great sleep and i'm ready for opening night I feel like yeah night. no i know i know here we go guys let's go and breakfast was really good but very busy and i, I think okay. i might go down earlier it's very busy down there so i got in early and did all my exercises pre-class all my pilates and warming up my feet really well because as some of you know i'm still recovering a bit from an ankle injury i have never done this stretch in my life i don't know what i was doing there anyhow uh did class and then I went out and bought my lunch, which I kind of made a salad with some boiled eggs from breakfast. I went through some of the choreography ahead of the stage call that afternoon. I just wanted to make sure that everything was looking really sharp because I haven't been able to practice as much as I would have liked due to my injury. So we just finished rehearsal for, I was about to say we finished rehearsal today, no we just finished rehearsal and then we got opening night tonight. In that rehearsal I did act one, act two gypsies and dryads and act three flamenco and then like just kind of walk on part at the end. Been busy and I'm looking forward to an hour of peanut butter and toasted banana. I will try your peanut butter, I promise, I promise. And then it's back to Spain. So, Spain. Spain. That's where we are. It's like, are we going on a flight? No. <laughs> Guys, it's not, doesn't get that quite that exciting on the vlog yet. But yeah, rehearsal was okay. Things that could be better, but that's why we have rehearsals, right? So the opening night antics began with the classic peanut butter and banana on bread. And I watched some of the tennis. I'm such a massive fan of tennis, I've got to be honest. So I very much enjoyed watching Wimbledon while having my dinner. And then it was time for opening night and gladly act one and act two went so well. Let's go. Third roll of the night, flamenco. That's getting old now. I feel like I've done that so many times. And after finishing act three, we got to go to this lovely event afterwards with some of the supporters of the Birmingham Royal Ballet. And before I knew it, it was into Thursday, double show day. Breakfast, I have to say, was really good. I only really had the porridge. I did just order two bowls of porridge every morning just to avoid the embarrassment of keeping asking for bigger bowls. I never really usually finish off both bowls that they give me. And then I was just doing my makeup and then I got on to prepare myself for another long day at the office. Good morning everyone, as always doing my stretches. <laughs> Anyhow, <laughs> the opening night went really well. It was behind the camera, it went good, didn't it? Yes. Real um, good. And now we have a double show day today. Sagadia, gypsies, dryads, flamenco, and then Sagadia again on the first show. And the same thing in the evening, just without the gypsies. Trying to prep the body, we have class at 11. It's almost 10 o'clock now. <sighs> Another day at the office, looking forward to it. Let's do it. So off to the theatre we went. I was feeling a little bit tired this day because I had actually woken up at 5.40, which was a little bit of a different scenario to the day before where I woke up at 7.40. But as always, you just keep focused. I try to really start getting in tune with my body, 
getting there nice and early to warm up, really warm up my foot and ankle well as this is the most loading I had done through it since I first injured it. After class, I spent a bit of time just going over some of the things I was doing later that day. I always like to just to feel how the, the ankle is every morning, especially since I was doing more on it than I had been doing for the last few weeks. And we are all set for the first show of the day. Let's go act one. We are gypsy ready. Let's go act two into triads. We did another dryads, another dryads yeah. done. Yeah. Now on to flamenco and flamenco. Yeah. Flamenco. Oh, yeah. Let's go. So first show, words. First show of a double show day is done. I. It went well. It was good. Yeah, the nerves were a little bit better today than yesterday because it was an opening night. I got to meet. One of you motivators outside which was so fun getting to meet some of you at stage door was amazing today and even one of you brought these amazing flowers look how pretty they are you also got me popcorn wait i haven't actually seen it myself because i only just got back i need to eat because we have an emergency place in call it's like gourmet popcorn come on come on there you come maybe if we take the flowers out no we still have issues I love popcorn. I never had gourmet popcorn. I always just buy the cheap stuff. Oh, they're little packets. Perfect before the show. Thank you so much. Rich and zesty, orange chocolate, salted caramel. Thank you so much. I'm looking forward to these. I've got to get moving. I have my peanut butter and toast with Nana. I'm so full of energy. Jesus. <laughs> Guys, this is what I call an organized mess. Why am I always a messy one? Look, this is mine. That's Amelia's. <laughs> Why? So when I got back, I iced my foot and went pretty much straight to sleep. I was so tired after the double show day. And Friday brought more beautiful porridge. Guys, can we just appreciate this beautiful porridge montage that I took? I had breakfast while speaking to my mum on the phone. Um, we hadn't had a lot of time to catch up because I'd been so busy. I also went and explored the hotel a little bit. Unfortunately, the pool wasn't open, which was so disappointing. But uh, we had the morning off, so I got myself a poke bowl for lunch at midday. And then we had class on stage, which for me, to be honest, I didn't have the best class. Afterwards, I went for another little walk um, before some company meetings and I spoke to my mum and I also had this amazing steamed bun. Guys, it was just a foodie day. I tried a lot of different foods in London and it was it was just a, a good vibe. So this steamed bun from this Korean place was amazing. I watched a little bit more tennis to help me relax before the evening show. And yes, I did buy a second Uber Eats. Having a bad day. Second Uber Eats today. It's dragon fruit. I was missing my Kula Pokey, guys. It's, it's huge. It's so big. I can't wait. So I'm going to look into this. Pre-show energy. Let's go. Show time. Trying to find the energy today. Act two done. Now four. Act three. I'm not tired. I'm not tired. I'm not tired. Future Hannah editing here, and I totally realized that I literally say the same things and do the same hand motions every single time. So I'm sorry if it's getting boring for you guys. Obviously, that is the only thing that goes through my head is act one done, act two done, thumbs up, smiley face, peace sign. So I do apologize if the content is getting very repetitive. But obviously, that is an insight into what my mind actually goes through in a show. 
Guys, I hadn't actually even watched the next clip and I literally just proved my point. Thumbs up, peace sign, maybe no smile. Just finished show number, I was about to say five, but it's actually four. Uh, it was okay, it wasn't my best one, but it was okay. I was tired, I, even though we had more time to rest. I think it's worse, I think if we just kept going, it would be all right. But having the rest like made me feel like... Nice in the ankle. And getting ready for double show day tomorrow. And even better than double show day is the fact that my, my dad is coming to watch me. And it's the first time he's seen me dance since I became professional. Because I've been a little bit injured, I'm not in like my best form. I hope he will still enjoy my dancing. I will give my all, as I do in every performance. But even a little bit extra tomorrow. And then I'm going to go for dinner with them afterwards. And then I'm going to spend the day in London with my mom on Sunday. Really looking forward to. So we're almost there. Last two shows of the season tomorrow. The end is in sight. I think I want to get an air fryer. Do you recommend getting an air fryer? Yes. Should I get an air fryer, guys? Comment down below. Is it life changing? Yes. Tilled. Love broccoli. If I love, I love broccoli. Yes. Yeah. We love broccoli. <laughs> I love broccoli. Kind of like rabbits, no? Yeah, we're basically rabbits. Good night. I will see you in the morning. Random thought. Just thought I'd throw that in there. Good morning, everybody. I forgot to put my lipstick on. Oh, well. It is the final day on tour here in London. I've loved performing at Salas Wells. The audiences have been incredible. So if you guys have come to watch, thank you so much. We really appreciate you. Guys, it's a uh, hotel room tour time. Yes, I know. This is the moment you have all been waiting for. You've watched through probably about 20 minutes of this vlog just to get to the hotel room tour. So well done you. Also, an added note. So I've been waking up at 5.30. And then today I woke up at 7.40. Boy, I definitely needed that extra two hours sleep because yesterday I felt a little bit of a mess in terms of my mental state. It's past 11, it's 10 now, so I need to get to the theater, but I just thought, let's do a quick room tour. So this is the general vibe of the room. This lovely little mirror, I quite like the fact that it's in a nice little round shape. This little desk here, I've got these little ginger biscuits. I always like the option. I've even got these little hot chocolates, galaxy hot chocolates. I have my hot chocolate, but I like the fact that they have that offering. Something I got from breakfast. I thought I was getting Special K and by accident I got the Frosties. Comment down below, are you a Frosties or a Special K? The kettle's really cute. I couldn't figure out how to turn it on. It's actually like this little button but then it doesn't make any noise. So I was really confused the first night, but I, I figured it out. Not the best view, gonna be honest. Also pretty dreary day, unfortunately, but very hot. We actually had a mini fridge, which was the greatest blessing ever. How many times have I complained about not having a fridge? Two marks for the fridge. We had a nice TV. The bed was actually really quite comfortable. So happy days for that. Very basic bedside table, table and chair there. The only thing I would say is, is this gap was quite difficult to get through and there was nowhere necessary to put Matilda's suitcase so much because there's not a whole lot of space. So she had to put it here. Going through into the shower room. This shower was so nice. Look at that shower head, guys. Can we just appreciate? We could even sit down. If we were tired, we could literally sit down and have a shower. And it was just so spacious. So the shower, definitely a 10 out of 10 for me. A nice mirror. I always like a lot of mirror space to do my makeup. But this little mirror on the side, hello. Lots of space for both me and Matilda. So toilet over here, not much to say about that really. And then another mirror here. So plenty of mirrors to check out the outfits in the morning. And then we have the wardrobe, a little, little slidey wardrobe, yeah. So we have an iron, an ironing board. Oh, work over here. Not quite sure what that's meant to represent, but yeah. It gives a little bit of texture to the room. Overall, I would say this room, a good solid eight out of 10. Does the job. Would have liked a bath. You know I like my bath, so I'm not keen on showers. Anyhow, I've got to head to the theater now with all my bags. Final show day, let's go. She's there. Okay, okay, you're so coordinated. This bar is so close today. So my parents are here. I look like a ghost because I just got foundation on. <laughs> yeah, you guys excited to watch the show? Yeah, very excited. Okay, I best awesome. to go get the rest of my makeup on, but I love you. Love you.
gonna go for pizza. Actually, I need to be looking at where we're going. So done, and I'm happy because my dad, first time seeing you first professional. Time. Yes. What do you think? It was absolutely magnificent. I think the last time you saw me was in 2019. Go, yeah. 2019. What a magnificent show! It was brilliant. Well done. Final show of Donkey! Make it happen. I had pizza, I feel fueled. Ready mm -hmm. for it. Let's go. Last round, shit! <laughs> Hello there. <laughs> After the final show, me and my mum travelled back to my godparents' house. It was quite busy on the tube, so it wasn't the most comfortable journey, but it was certainly amazing being able to wake up with my family right next to me. It was a beautiful day, so we went to a lovely cafe at the wetlands, and me and my godparents were able to catch up. I was definitely feeling so tired, so this was the perfect recovery day for me before heading back to Birmingham. We watched the Wimbledon tennis final back at their place which was the perfect way to spend the rest of the day and then I had to travel back to Birmingham. I had to say I was feeling extremely tired and excited for the travelling to be over. Um, but on the way back I saw this rainbow and rainbows for me have such a significance. I've always seen them when there's something amazing going to happen in my life so that was super exciting. I always take it as an image of God's promise. And although this may be the final bow of this season with the Birmingham Royal Ballet, I'm super excited to announce that next year I'll be continuing my journey with them as an artist. I've learned so much this year and so much I want to expand on maybe in a future video. So if you guys would like that make sure to comment down below and also comment this emoji if you managed to get through this colossal vlog. It has certainly been a journey and one that I'm so privileged to have been able to share with you. Guys, thank you so much for being on this journey with me and if you want to continue make sure to click that subscribe button and always remember to dream big and make it happen. Time is it all?